Demi Lovato's road to wellness just became a truly spiritual journey for her because she made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land and got cleansed in the same waters as Christ. The singer posted some incredible photos Tuesday of a recent trip she took to Israel, one of which shows her getting baptized in the Jordan River, where Jesus Christ himself was famously baptized by John the Baptist. It clearly meant a lot to Demi too. She captioned her set, I am an American singer. I was raised Christian and have Jewish ancestors. When I was offered an amazing opportunity to visit the places I'd read about in the Bible growing up, I said yes. Harambe stars have been dealt a minor blow ahead of upcoming friendlies as key forward Masood Juma pulled out of the squad. The former Karyobangi shark striker reportedly picked up an injury while playing for his club side JS Kabuli in Algeria in his last league match. The Football Kenya Federation released a statement on Wednesday, October 2nd, confirming Masood's absence as they confirmed Ulunzi stars forward Enosh Kolic as his replacement. Ocheng will have something to offer for Francis Kamazi's side as he was recently involved in the Chan qualifier against Tanzania and a friendly against Uganda. Popular radio jumbo presenter Masawe Japani seems to live by the motto, work hard, play hard. The mother of three is known to take exotic holidays to blow off steam. Over the April holiday, she traveled to Italy with her children for a vacation. Currently, Masawe is on holiday in Dubai with friends and she shared photos from her luxury getaway depicting her thoroughly enjoyable experience. Some of the activities she engaged in during her trip include a visit to Dubai Mall, the second largest mall in the world, a desert safari, and a ride in a yacht. Imagine having an application where you can directly document cases of corruption for the relevant authorities to act upon them. This is exactly what three Bright Ronda students have decided to come up with in an innovation that is likely to change the face of corruption in their country. The three, Monica Krabo, Angela Izinkusi, and Odil Ibamana, emerged with the idea of developing an anti-corruption app purely out of necessity. 